there's a few reasons why this might be. You might be, I mean, runny icing, I think sounds like you might be using a margarine instead of butter. So I'd always, always say use butter instead of margarine because margarine's got actually um, a lot of water in it and it's made of usually made of vegetable oil so it doesn't really work the same way as butter and it doesn't set the same as well so it is a little bit more expensive but definitely definitely go for a block of butter as well um, instead uh, and make sure it's nice and room temperature before you start mixing it and if it's got little lumps of sometimes it's icing sugar so sometimes it's a good idea to actually sieve your icing sugar because they have kind of caking agents in them and they all kind of club together and get a bit get a bit lumpy. You can definitely overbeat or overwork your cake mixture. Um, this does affect the baking um, and the kind of end result. So what you kind of want to do until things start looking mixed together and combined, that's enough. Just don't over whip it um, or overbeat it because you will end up splitting the mixture. Once I've baked any of my cakes, I take them straight out of the oven and whilst they're still in the tin, I put them on a cool room rack um, and this just helps cool them down. Once they are um, sort of cool enough and I can still handle it, um, I then flip them out of the tin so they come out easier and then I wrap them in um, cling film or cellophane and then that will keep them moist um, and lovely for the next day for when I'm ready to um, stack fill and ganache. Um, if you feel like you your cakes are sinking, that's down to your baking, um, never to do with the um, oven. So um, yeah, that's something you may want to look into um, if your cakes are sinking, but generally just take them out straight away. They don't need to cool down in the oven. First of all, I would say, um, if you definitely don't want to use food colouring, there's some really good, you know, like vegetables out there you can use. Beetroot's a really good one. Um, courgette you can use, that doesn't add a huge amount of colour. Um, but what I would suggest is is maybe just use a small amount of food colouring. Food colourings now aren't what they used to be. They're not that um, awful, uh, watery mess. Um, you can get really good gel colours now. They're concentrated and they're, they're um, you can get natural ones. Um, so maybe have a go at that. But also you could use things like um, sprinkles, mix sprinkles in. That'll give you, I know that is technically food colouring, but that'll give you a nice amount of, of um, kind of confetti look in there as well. I used to watch a lot of American TV shows um, about cake making and I used to watch Cake Boss and Ace of Cakes and I just thought it looked really really fun so I wanted to have a go at that all the colours and all the making things and yeah I just wanted to have a go so I had a go and just I think you get a bit of a bug don't you and it just went from there and here we are now 10 years later. Baking was never something I was interested in as I was younger. Um, I was never the kind of girl that would want to bake with my mum when she was making cakes. I always wanted to play out um, and stuff. But when I was at university, we just started baking um, for friends and I really enjoyed it. And then I came home after I graduated and started baking cakes for my um, siblings' birthdays and my friends' birthdays. Then I slowly started getting orders. Then I did an exhibition for a wedding fair because I felt like I'd done birthday cakes for a few years now, like I really did want a challenge. Um, so then I did an exhibition and after that it just kind of snowballed and um, I got a really good client and after that it just kept rolling and rolling. Um, I am really lucky because I did study art and 3D design while I was at school and um, I do think that's benefited me because it allows me to think outside of the box. Um, I do think that when you do decide to become a baker the most important thing is to stay original um kind of look for inspiration in different places where you think people don't really look because that will really make a difference in the quality and the designs that you are um, letting out so a question i get asked a lot of the time is um how do i make uh, little figures kind of stand up out of icing because they, they tend to flop over. So I would say um, a really important thing to do is definitely use um, 
a really good quality sugar paste and definitely in invest in some tylo powder so tylo powder is a type of um, it's a type of salt actually and you mix it into your sugar paste fondant whatever and um, it sets really hard and it makes nice hard models so that's a really good one and also have a look at making some like really simple wire armatures so like a skeleton for your figure to stand up with because otherwise it's, it is just going to flop and you need to think about gravity so yeah little armature figures cocktail sticks are really good for um supporting your figures either whilst they're setting or whilst they're inside as long as you tell the person who it's for that they're inside